there, I'm Dr. Smee. I am here today to show you guys how to do a B12 injection demonstration. This is something we commonly do on our patients in our practice, and we wanna show you guys how to do it so that hopefully this can help you do it at home. This is Clover. Come here, Clover. Come here. She's a little rescue puppy that needs a B12 shot, so she's gonna be our demonstration. This is a shot she already needs. So um, what we're gonna do is show you some different ways if you have a helper at home, this is Ayana, she's gonna be our helper today. She's one of our assistants. Um, you can have somebody that can help you distract them uh, for the actual shot. And then we're gonna show you some ways and how you pull everything up. So uh, first I'll show you the information that we usually send home with you. So here is the folder that we usually send. Um, in there it has instructions, we typically put down the dates um, that the injections are recommended. Uh, the protocol may change over time. Right now, the protocol is an injection once a week for six weeks and then a month later, and then we recheck the level a month after. Um, if your doctor recommends something different, you have to check with them. We also uh, have the syringes prepared, and we typically will also put on the syringes the dose mark for what you need to pull up and then our B12 will be in the bag as well. Usually it's in a bottle like this, and you draw up the medication by taking the needle off the syringe, turning it upside down. You put the medication, pull the medication into the syringe by withdrawing back. Sometimes you'll get a little air bubble. If that happens, you can just hit the end of the syringe and then push that back into the bottle so you get to the line where your dose is gonna be. So once we have that pulled up and ready, put that back and out of the way so our little helper isn't going to help us with that. So she is an active little puppy, so um, if you have issues with them being very active, you can use things like bribery, like treats. Um, if your dog is getting B12, they might actually be getting B12 for a medical reason, so check with your doctor and make sure it's okay to give treats if you're gonna do that. So Iana's gonna try to distract her while we do this. Um, so you, when you're ready to give the injection, you're gonna take the needle off and you're gonna pull up on the skin. She's pretty skinny, so she's got a lot of extra skin. So when you do that, you try to find a spot where the hair is shorter or you kind of push it to the side. And then you're gonna go in with the needle and you're gonna pull back on the syringe. If you get air, you've gone all the way through. If not, you're gonna get the injection and come out. Good just job, like that. Good, good job. job. What a good job. Good job. She didn't even notice. She didn't even notice. And if you're giving a shot um, at home by yourself, um, other ideas you can try, um, sometimes holding them between your legs, um, sometimes holding them backwards between your legs. Um, it just kind of depends. Um, sometimes you can also distract them with food, um, like Anna was showing earlier, uh, putting some food on the ground and kind of smushing it in or a little bit of peanut butter if your doctor's okay with that, just to kind of distract them for a few minutes. Um, she does have a tiny little spot of blood, you can see. So if you see that, that's pretty normal too. I wouldn't be too worried. Um, white dogs tend to have more bleeding spots, so I wouldn't be worried about that. Thank you guys for watching.